Hi guys, so today we are going to be on Cricut Design Space and we're going to learn how to make a sticker using Cricut Design Space. So first we're going to upload our image. My image is already uploaded so I'm just going to go to images and I'm going to search for Momster because we're going to use that same sticker that I had today on my Instagram page if you saw it on there. And if I go to Momster and go to ownership and upload it, it shows me this printable one that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that. I'm going to size it down to 4 and I have it on here. Now if I were to cut it right now as it is, it would cut out all these little tiny baby hairs and it would not look like a sticker because those baby hairs would probably rip when you're trying to use it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit make it. And you see how it comes up with this page. So we're going to hit continue, even though my maker's not on. I'm going to say send to printer, and then I'm going to leave the bleed on, and I'm going to use system dialog. So I'm going to hit print. And remember, the print box comes in the back, so you have to search for it in the back of your um, Cricut Design Space window. So I'm going to go on here, and I'm going to hit save as PDF. So I save it as a PDF and you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Momster and you're going to hit save. It's going to save it on my desktop. Then you're going to go on here on Cricut Design Space and cancel. Cancel your cut which will take you back to your main picture page and you're going to find the file. You're going to open it and you're actually going to take a screenshot of it. With a Mac, you do Command Shift 3. That takes a screenshot of it. So again, it was Command Shift 3. You're going to go ahead and crop it and size it down. And we're going to go ahead and hit Done. Then we are going to upload that same picture. I've already uploaded it onto there, but you're going to hit Upload and you're going to delete the white background when you upload it. So if I go to my images and I go to Momster, here it is already uploaded. As you can see, it is the one with the bleed on and it has this thickness around it that I need to keep in order to preserve the picture quality. Now you could use an outside source like Inkscape or Silhouette Cameo edition, the studio or the free edition for it and that could help you create an offset for this image as well but there's a way to do it on Cricut Design Space so we're going to go ahead and go on here and we're going to hit no fill and do you see how it creates this border of no fill so it has no picture behind it so I'm going to go ahead and arrange that and send it to the back now I'm going to place my picture over it to see how much overlap I want to have on that negative space and how much I don't so I set it up on here and I'm going to make it to where when it cuts, it's not going to cut all these little tiny hair pieces that were going to be cut off anyways because they're way too thin and way too fine. Fine, sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and change the color. I'm going to go ahead and change it to white and then I'm going to select all of it and I'm going to hit flatten. So when you hit flatten, it shows that it's going to cut that white edge. And I can show you on here by changing the background color. Click on blank canvas. Click that background color and I'm going to change it to black. And if you see on here, you could see where it's going to cut out. So I'm going to go ahead and change my background color back to white. Turn my grid lines on. I'm going to hit make it. And I'm going to, so this image is actually pretty big. So I'm going to actually make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to select it all and I'm going to make it I'm going to make it three inches so I can fit more per page. So I'm going to go ahead and hit make it. Now on here, I'm going to hit how many copies I want. Let's say I want three copies because I think three copies will fit perfectly on that print and cut area. As you can see, you can move it around if you need to. So if you needed to make it closer, make it further apart, whatever you needed it to do, you can move it around inside of this print and cut area. So you're going to go ahead and hit continue. And you're going to hit send to printer. This time, you're going to take the bleed off. You're going to use system dialog because 
the reason you use system dialog is to make sure that you hit best or picture quality. So on here, I would hit print and then I would come on here and I would hit this media type. I'm going to change that to photo advanced paper and then I would hit print. So I've already actually printed it. So I'll show you the materials that I actually used in order to make these stickers. And then once you have it ready to go, you send it to the printer, you print it out, it prints out the registration marks, and then you're going to add a laminate over it, or you can also use shelf liner, removable adhesive clear laminate shelf liner, which is super cheap, and use that over your sticker. And then you're going to cut on the medium cardstock setting and you're going to cut it twice to make sure that it definitely cuts through and makes it a die cut sticker material. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that, show you the materials that I use. So these are the materials that I use to make it. I use this removable adhesive clear laminate, which is an easy liner. And you're just literally, it's just a clear sheet that you're going to add. So first you're going to print out your sticker using these online labels. I found these on Amazon. I will add the link below. Um, it came with like a pack of a hundred of them and they seem to be the best ones to work for making stickers or labels. So you're gonna send that to the printer. Once it's printed, then you're going to add this laminate to it before you hit it to cut because it needs to cut with the laminate over it. As you can see, it'll cut around the whole area, leave that white space around it, and the baby hairs are not cut off, and it has that laminate protective film over it, so it makes it like a sticker. It's nice and thin, not super thick, and you could stick it on a cup, stick it on a, on a notebook, anything you want to personalize, and you can use these stickers, perfectly die-cut stickers. Let me know if you have any questions below. Thank you so much for watching.